And there was a clash at First Minister's questions about the vaccination rollout as well. Well, yes, of course, the, the government always mentions that there are numerous tools or weapons in the fight against COVID, but the, the biggest one is the vaccine. That's where the political focus remains. We know that more than 309,000 people have received their first injection. But Scottish Conservative Group leader at Holyrood, Ruth Davidson, questioned why Scotland was, as she put it, lagging behind delivering the JAG. Prioritising care homes, as the Scottish Conservatives have always argued we should, doesn't explain why GP surgeries, who should have doses of vaccine sitting in their fridges, don't. The problem here is this insistence from the First Minister that this is all on track. But Health Secretary Jean Freeman said on the 11th of January that all over 80s would have the vaccine by the end of this month, which is the 31st of January. But this morning, the Deputy First Minister, John Swinney, rolled back on that commitment, saying instead that I can confidently say to you that the commitments we have given, that the over 80s, for example, will all be vaccinated by the end of the first week of February, is a commitment that will be fulfilled, repeated just now by the First Minister. So the Health Secretary's committee to all over 80s being vaccinated by the 31st of January, but the Deputy First Minister has committed to the 7th of February. The First Minister called this vaccination programme a race against COVID, and I agree with her sense of urgency. So why are we already falling behind? Well, Ms Sturgeon also said there that target dates may have to be refined based on the government's developing understanding of vaccine supplies. The Scottish government, she said, had very deliberately chosen to focus on getting care home residents immunised first as they were at highest risk of dying with COVID and this is all about saving lives. But she added that this can be a slower process than asking patients to attend vaccination centres. Ms Sturgeon said, however, that 75% of GPs now have supplies or were getting supplies in. Thanks, Sarah. Our reporter, Sarah Toon, there.